All right, so now uh, let's take a look at question two. And this one asks, if the clipped line segment is projected on the screen window, identify the resulting line segment. So let's take a look at the solution. So we need to project the clipping or the clipping points or the clip points. Let's go uh, clipped point 650, uh, negative 25, uh, 210. That's the first one. Well, that's the top one. And then 125, negative 350, 75 is the left point and determine the resulting endpoints uh, on the screen. Let's go here on the screen. So what this means is, well, if we go back to our graph, our 3D graphing calculator uh, here, so what we're going to do is we're going to have to project this onto the screen. I'm going to hide all of these random planes. I'm going to hide the plane like this and then hide the uh, left one clipping plane. Yeah, so we need to project it from A and uh, this, um, this point C onto the screen. So it's going to look something like this from, uh, but then it's going to be from here to here. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to project it. It's going to go upwards on it somewhere like that. So anyways, yeah, to determine what happens uh, or how to project it, first let's consider how the X, Y, and Z coordinates get projected from 3D onto the 2D screen. All right, so let's say we have our uh, camera here. So here's our camera. And this is going to be, let's say it's at a distance X, or let's move this uh, down further. All right, so here's how they get projected. So we have, uh, let's say this, 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 this is the distance X, oh, so this distance X here. And there's the origin right here called the O. And now what we're going to have is, this is the screen. So the screen looks something like this. And then it goes like this and like that. And then let's say we are projecting this point onto the screen. So we're going to have to draw a perfect straight line from it to the screen. So it has to connect it all the way to the screen. All right. So let's say uh, instead of uh, this, so let's say we have this distance here to here is a thousand. So this is uh, the thousand that we're looking at. Erase this little thingy. All right. So from here to here, is a thousand. But then from this point here, let's say this coordinates of this point are, uh, it goes from, um, let's draw this all out like this. Uh, this, this coordinates has, I'll put a uh, dot, dot, dot this way. I'll go in the wide side up, then the, the, then downwards like this. Or let's erase this. So let's say from here to here is X. Then the, that's the X coordinate of it. And let's just say this point is X, Y, Z. Then it gets to this point where this point is, let's say it's projected as X prime or just X with a dash. Yeah. X prime, Y prime. And this is the projected coordinates of that point like that. So we just project it through a straight line. All right. So that's the X. This is the Z and this is the Y. So that's the Y is this set up like that. All right. And now the next setup is, uh, let's say that's the, um, projected line let now I mean this is the this is the point let's see the projected point now is going to be and also let's finish this off let's finish the screen off like that all right like this all right so let's finish that off and now this part right here uh this is going to be it's going to have a new y and a new z this is z prime and this is going to be y prime like that or actually, I should put the Y on top there. All right, so that is the projection. So we have, we can have two similar triangles. And uh, we can see that here. I'm going to draw this uh, thin line across like that. So we have two similar triangles. We have the Z. So the Z projects up to the Z prime. And we have the Y projects up to the Y prime. Uh, so I'll write this one as one. This one as two. So let's write these out. So we have the first triangle. So for the Z, how it gets projected, uh, this goes from uh, just like this. All right. All right, here's fix that up. Let's move this over. So this is the one and this is the Z uh, parts. So we have the point here. This is at Z. And then this, this distance is X. And then this, uh, this height is just Z prime. And then this full length is a thousand. 
All right, and then similarly for the the, the uh, y, we have the top triangle like that, and this this goes from uh, from here from y to y prime. It's the exact same thing, but we're doing a with a y. So in fact, I'll just copy this exact same thing here, copy, and then paste, and then move this here. So we have the exact same thing. Then remove this with a y, y and y like this. Yes, yeah, so y and y prime. Let's go y prime. All right, so y and y prime, and then uh, lastly, those are that's how the z and uh, y get projected. The x gets projected wherever the x is, just goes to zero. So we just have uh, x goes to to zero. So I'll write three. X goes to zero. So x goes to zero, like that. So we have the the all the x's goes to zero. All right. So now we can determine a formula for the projection of both the y and z coordinates using similar triangles, while the x coordinate just becomes equal to zero. So uh, x goes to zero, and these ones goes to here. So we could use similar triangles, and let's solve that out. Let's just do it for the z, and then it'll be the same for the uh, uh, y like this. So let's say we have this. So let's set this up better. So like this. All right. And this is going to be our uh, point here. I'm going to write this dash dash like that. Or actually instead of a dash line, put a straight line like this. Whoops. All right here. Fix that up anyway. So this is going to be a Z. And now what we'll do is we need a similar triangle set up. And this is going to be our angle theta. This is angle theta. And this is going to be a right angle. This can be a right angle. Um, let's remove that. So it's just common sense, right angle. And this is going to be this height here is our z prime. So then this height here is going to be z prime minus z. And likewise, this is going to be x. And now this this distance here is going to be a thousand minus x. That's because this whole thing is a thousand. All right. All right, so thus we could apply similar triangles. So similar triangles like this. And for completeness, we could even write just write this out as tan theta equals to well, you could have similar triangles z over one thousand minus x. This also equals to well, this angle you could use tan of this one. So z uh, prime minus z over uh, this is going to be x. Like that. All right, so let's do some simplification. Uh, let's move this over to this side, and then this over to the other side. So we get a z x z times x equals to. Now we have a z uh, like this. Or actually, instead of that, uh, instead of this, we'll move the we'll move the x over to the side, and then this part, and then th this separately, but keep the one thousand over x. So that's what we'll do. That that's a better setup there. So we'll have a z x move this up top z x and then uh, this is going to be divided by 1000 minus x then plus z equals to z prime and I'll just move that over uh, move the z prime further so that we can multiply the top and bottom by 1000 over x like that and then move this even further, equals z prime. All right, so we do that so we don't change anything, just so we have the same common denominator. And this is going to be now, uh, multiply that out inside, and then add those all up. So z times x plus uh, z times 1,000 minus zx over... 1000 minus x equals to z prime. All right, so what we have now is, you know, what we have now is a zx uh, plus z times 1000. Well, these ones just cancel zx, zx. All right, so we're just going to be left with z uh, times 1000 or 1000, uh, yeah, let's put it like that, over 1000 minus x equals to z prime. Uh, or what we could do is, well, I'll move this over. Yeah, I'll move this over to the other side. Just put z prime equals, and then just do some simplifications. Okay, move this over to this side. So we get a z prime is equal to 
is equal to z times a thousand divided by a thousand minus x. This can be times it by one over a thousand, so simplified and then divided by one over a thousand. So we get rid of the thousands. So then what we end up having is final equation z prime equals to, well, a thousand cancels, so we'll have a z on top, over a thousand divided by a thousand is, is one, minus then x over a thousand. So we just have one thousand there as opposed to two thousands there. Yes, epic, epic stuff there. So there is our, our projection. And similarly, I'll write down similarly for the y, it's the exact same uh, triangles. So y prime is equal to y over one minus, and it's, it's still gonna be the same x, so 1,000, uh, x over 1,000. Like that, epic stuff. All right, so this means that our clip, uh, clip points from problem one or question one, um, your question one become projected to new points using the above formula. So clipping point one was 615 uh, minus 225 and then 210. This becomes, well, zero. And then we, each one of these we have to do, uh, plug in that value for the, um, yeah, for the Y and the Z. So, and then the X becomes zero. So the 650 goes to zero. So this becomes that, and then this one we have to go, uh, we have to put the y or the z and then divide it by one minus x over a thousand. And the x is 650, so we'll go negative 25, divided by one minus 650 over a thousand, this equals two, this is the y co uh, co uh, coordinate, like that, negative 71.42, uh, and I round it up to 74.3. Uh, and then the next one is 210, divided by one minus 650 over a thousand, this just equals to 600 which it should be because it's right on the edge. All right, so that's what happens there. And then, uh, yeah, just get rid of these equal signs. I put these equal ones just because of the built-in calculator. So we simplified, and this is negative 71.43 and 600. So we put these in, round it up, and there's the, this is projected over there. And the next one is 125, negative 350, 75 goes to zero. And then 350, put that in, it's negative 400. And then this 75 divided by one minus 125 number, we put in the X, uh, over here for that, and then it's 85.7143, etc. It's 400, so we get zero, negative 400, 85.71. Yeah, so thus the resulting line segment can be determined using the vector equation of a line. Again, remember the line is r equals to r naught plus t times uh, v vector, the parallel vector, and so we'll just take these two points as we'll use this as r naught. So there's the first point R naught, this is a projected clipping point. And then we'll, we'll extend that over to this point, the, the second uh, clipping point that's being projected, uh, and, or that is projected. And then we'll just take, yeah, so that's the R naught, and then the difference will be the, the vector, so we'll have this one subtracted by this one here. So we'll have negative 400 minus negative uh, 71.43, and this is with built-in calculator. It's equals to negative 328.57, and I just put that down here. And then the next one, 85.71, that's here, subtracted by 600, equals negative 514.29, and I just put that here. And then the uh, x coordinates all go to zero, uh, I mean, the x coordinates go to zero, zero minus zero, well, we actually already have that already, zero minus zero. So that's zero and zero, et cetera. And this is for the parameter t uh, from zero to one, and whenever you have, you have it from zero to one, for when you form a line, a vector equation of a line from these two points, uh, the, the first one's gonna be r naught. When you plug in zero, you're just gonna get the r naught values. So if you plug in zero, this all vanishes. We're just left with this one, which is just this. And then if you plug in one, we get, uh, if you plug in one, this becomes one. So then uh, we'll have this part here. So if you add these up, so zero plus zero, zero, and then the negative 71.43, plus this, we'll have a negative, uh, negative of a of, of, uh, negative 71.43. So this would vanish with this one. So all we're left with is negative 400. And likewise, a 600 minus 600, this this is, disappears. All we're left with is 85.71. So in other words, when t is 1, we get this point. When t is 0, we get this point. So th that's a line circuit. So we can graph all this out in GeoGebra. All right, here's the clipping plane 3. I made that polygon just to make it easier to see it as opposed to the full plane. And there's the uh, projection line. Well, actually, this is the equation of the projection line, but when we only want the segment. So we only want the segment from uh, projection one to projection two. And this is projection one is 
zero negative seventy one point four three six hundred, and then zero and then zero negative four hundred eighty five point seven one. So that's the point. And then you could uh, project the line. You can make a if you form a line, you get this right here. This equation zero negative three two eight point five seven lambda instead of t. They just use lambda negative five one four point two nine. That's that's exactly this equation. So that's a vector equation of a line. And then then if you have the projection, you can just write segment from projection point one to two. So that goes like that. So there is how it looks like. <laughs> so this line gets projected onto here, and we clip off these edges. All the screen is left with is over here. Absolutely amazing. So this is what's going on behind the uh, yeah, behind the computer screen or behind the camera, etc. When it's taking photos. So there it is. And let's just uh, add those other stuff there. Let's see which is the uh, where is the line? It's a projection line. So there's a full projection line. It goes all the way across. There's, a, there's on the back side, but we want to clip it. So hence, I just moved it like this and put the projection segment. So we only want the projection segment. Whoops! Stop moving. All right, and then we just remove the line. So there it is. So that gets projected onto the. And the reason, uh, like I said before, it goes to the 600. Uh, this is right at the edge. Yeah. So this is right on this plane. Whoops. So this is right on this plane. Because of that, it goes straight to the 600 there. And likewise, on the left side here, this, this one is right on this, this plane, so it has to go straight to the 400. And that's projection point two. This is projection point one uh, on top there, so yes. Epic, epic stuff.